The Hilden are merely an inconvenient consequence. They will be dealt with in time. It is a small price to pay for Cain's death. You're a bit premature. Cain! Is there a crack in your omniscience after all, Mobius? First, your omniscience, and now your powers. You're slipping badly. This is not possible. The part of me that staff affected is no longer in its place. But you already knew that, didn't you? I always was considered heartless. And now, Mobius, it is time to kill me? Again? Your only solution for every problem, kill. This is not a debate. You see, this time, you have nothing that I want. <gasps> you think this will matter? I serve one who has power over life and death. Then go to him. I am his obedient, his devoted servant. Soon, all pain will fade, and my master will bring me life once more. Master, my apologies. A momentary oversight. Somehow, Cain still lives and has unexpectedly dispatched me. Make use of your good servant and... Go to your master, then. I release you to the wheel. Oh, God, no. Do you see it now? The monster that you served? Is this what you imagined when you worshipped it? are irrelevant, Raziel. Mobius was a good servant, but he was of no further use. His long life had run its course. You see, even when you rebel, you are doing my will. Perhaps. But something has changed, hasn't it? You didn't foresee Cain's return. You have both traced your paths along the wheel. This is where the journey ends. You haven't the means to kill either one of us. Ah, but you can be stopped. And you will come to understand how oblivion can be a mercy. You and Cain will spend eternity buried here together, praying for the merciful release of a death that will never come. But I was armed with newfound knowledge, and it burned within me. Redeemer and destroyer. Mobius had never seen his master until the Soul Reaver purified his sight. Even the ancient vampires had no idea what it was they so righteously worshipped. You must unite what has been set asunder. All the conflict and strife throughout history, all the fear and hatred, served but one purpose, to keep my master's wheel turning. All souls were prisoners, trapped in the pointless round of existence, leading distracted, blunted lives until death returned them, always in ignorance, to the wheel. The coin is still turning. But what hope had there been? One cannot fight the unseen. Only then will the Scion of Balance be armed for his true endeavor. Despair, Raziel. There is no escape. It was then I knew what I had to do. I alone could end this.
Cain. Do you so enjoy death? Yes. Raziel. No! Yes. This is how... No! Raziel! The Soul Reaver. Pure of all corruption. This is what it is for. This is what I am for. The two become one. Both Soul Reavers together. And the sign of balance is healed. And I am not your enemy, not your destroyer. I am, as before, your right hand, your sword. No, Raziel, this can't be the way. And now you will see the true enemy. Raziel. And it was then I saw. So, I am revealed to you at last. What in hell? I am the origin of life, the devourer of death. I am the hub of the wheel, the purifying cycle to which all souls must be drawn. Had I condemned Raziel to this nightmare when I cast him into the abyss? You may ponder the futility of your ambitions as you spend a deathless eternity beneath a mountain of rubble. You and your soul reaver will go equally mad as the eons pass. The Citadel of the Apostates will become your living tomb. Your words are heartening. <laughs> For you would not fear us unless we could truly do you harm. No! You are nothing! False God. This is the end. The final turn of your wheel. <laughs>